all about me this is going to be a video in azure synapse analytic playlist wherein i just wanted to share a couple of information to you okay it's with respect to taking row count after dml activity and doing merge in synapse okay so these two are the main things that i wanted to concentrate right now we are not uh, entitled or we we cannot use this at the rate at the rate row count in order to take the rows affected okay uh, synapse doesn't support this particular class or this particular variable okay how do we handle this kind of, of situation wherein we want to take the number of rows affected after an insert or update or merge or delete okay that is question number one and question number two is uh, whether are we uh, so uh, are we allowed to use merge statement in synapse or not okay this is um, the second question that we need to answer in this video so uh, before i take you through uh, the implementation part of it let me show you the uh, documentation page first okay i wanted to show you certain documentation page that i will do first after that i will be taking you through the code uh, that I have prepared for you. Okay. All right. So I have two uh, Microsoft documentation pages which I want you to go through. One is overview of the Synapse Analytics features. Okay. In this page, we have a detailed table explaining what is supported and what is not supported. Okay. Right now, if you see uh, leave serverless SQL pool, we are just going to concentrate only on dedicated SQL pool. Serverless SQL pool, it's just meant for data lake analytics right we are just going to uh, connect to the files in data lake and we are going to do some uh, analytics on top of it right so um insert statement update statement delete statement it is all not supported right now uh, on top of the data lake files okay so we are not going to concentrate much on this just concentrate on dedicated sql pool now okay so in the dedicated SQL pool, are we allowed to uh, execute a merge statement or not? That's my question. Uh, if you see this table under merge statement, it is allowed, but it is in preview. Okay. Uh, it's not publicly available yet. So, uh, what is uh, the problem in it or what is the alternate for it? So, in the Microsoft documentation itself, they are allow, uh, asking us to use insert and update statement separately instead of one merge statement. Okay, I'll show you that. Merge is currently in preview for Synapse Analytics. Change the product version selector for important content on merge specific to Synapse Analytics. Uh, okay, to change document version to Synapse Analytics, just uh, click on this link and proceed further. This this has the steps to do that. Okay, so I'm not going to do all that. Just I'm, I wanted to tell you what is the recommended uh, alternate for merge now. So, uh, performance tip, here is where we want to concentrate. When you are going to simply update one table based on the rows of another table, improve the performance and scalability with basic insert, update and delete instead of going for a merge. Okay. You can ask me whether uh, we can run a merge statement in a dedicated SQL pool or not. Yes, we can run it. It perfectly uh, works fine. But one more thing is, how to use insert and update statement um, as an alternate for merge statement. That's what we are going to see today. Okay. Before I show you uh, uh, the merge command, I will tell you the table details. Okay. I have two tables. One is profile source and profile destination. It is a simple table with four columns. One table has uh, around five records. Another table has eight to nine records. Okay. So, uh, both the tables have same structure. I am going to uh, insert or update records from um, profile source to profile destination. So this is my source table and this is my destination table. I'm going to uh, do a merge to destination table based on source table. Okay. Uh, based on certain columns only we will be doing the merge, right? Uh, some key columns. Okay. In my case, I'm going to do the merge based on serial number column. So what I'll be doing, I will be checking the records in my source table. If there are any new serial number records, I will insert it to the destination. If uh, the serial number is already present in my destination table, I will take the other columns and I will update in my destination table. Okay. So, this is a simple uh, stuff uh, I can show you in a merge statement directly. I am going to merge into destination using my source based on the serial number column okay when there is no match i'm going to insert and when there is a match i'm going to update okay this is working perfectly fine but in case of 
simple updates uh, or insert like this right we are asked to use insert statement and update statement um, separately okay so how do we do that we are going to insert into the destination table we are selecting all the records from the source table where not exist take the serial number from destination uh, where a2.s number e equal to a1.s number what we are checking is based on the serial number column between source and destination uh, insert only those records which are not already present okay this is for new record insertion similarly we'll have to handle uh, using where exists clause right we have to do the update that i'm not showing here i leave it to you for your practice okay so this is the simple uh, insert command that we can make use of instead of writing a merge statement okay so how do i take the records affected after every insert or update or delete or merge we can uh, we need to take number of those affected right in order to have a log of it so for that what we are going to do is we are going to use one class called option class okay uh, this option class can be used as many times as possible in, in your uh, dedicated sql pool uh, procedures okay stored blocks, stored blocks so what is this meant for this is like uh, um, adding a label okay this is nothing but for every dml query we can attach a label and based on that label we can find out number of those affected okay the syntax is very simple option in option and next to option open parenthesis and label in caps okay uh, this is a key uh, this is a keyword so we need to make use of it in caps label equal to insert this is a uh, label that we want to attach with this particular insert command okay um, we can make use of any label that is understandable to us okay uh, it, it shouldn't be something confusing or it shouldn't be something very difficult to write and all make it simple now uh, on the other hand uh, make it understandable okay so once i have attached a, a label to my uh, dml query what i can do is i can declare a variable and this is the command that i'm going to use to get my row count okay so row count is taken from uh, pdw table there are certain pdw uh, statistics tables which we can query in order to capture the row count value okay so just i i'll uh, copy paste this query in the description section or i'll give the uh, corresponding documentation page so that you need not uh, look at the video and type it okay i'll provide the necessary help documentation so this uh, query is going to give me the row count and it will assign it to my variable a uh, local variable at row count okay and then if i'm going to print it it is going to tell me number of records affected okay this is the uh, these are the two things that i wanted to concentrate in this video i'll just run this query simply now mm. I'll copy this. I'll put it into. I'm going to put a new serial number so that I can show you. How this query works. So I'm going to insert a number called 22. It is already not there in my uh, destination table. So I'm going to run all of them together. What it's going to do is, since 22 is not residing in my uh, source table, it's going to insert it. Uh, at the same time, we'll have to fix any syntax error. Okay, there shouldn't be any semicolon at the end of your DML statement because it's not going to work out. Okay, so I'll run it again. This option class has to follow your dml uh, query it has to follow okay you shouldn't be uh, separating it from the previous query and all okay so we are seeing the number one here i'll i'll insert a couple of more records for clarity okay so this is how we need to capture a uh, number of rows affected in synapse dedicated SQL pool. Okay, I'm inserting into my destination and then I'm running it to insert it to my source. All right. So these two are um, quite commonly used terminologies across any SQL stored procedure, right? So that's why I wanted to um, make it count. So do now.
so this is how we need to uh, handle the row count stuff as well as merge okay in case you have any uh, questions or concerns you let me know in the comment section or if you have any other experience using these terminologies uh, let us know in the comment section as well so thanks a lot for watching uh, keep uh, watching for more such videos and if you haven't subscribed i request you to subscribe thanks a lot